important message here. Go ahead. I'm Thomas I'm... O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> when we took over the farm, our main priority was the ability to feed ourselves and feed our community. And that's about building food security and food sovereignty. And to do that, we need thousands of people in small acreages of land in market garden and growing good quality crops supplying local but an awful lot of the equipment designed for agriculture is designed for massive scale operations and small scale horticulture can be intensive so we need to design small scale equipment that takes the bulk of the labour out of it for people but doesn't remove people from the land because a lot of farmers now they sit in tractors with GPS units and they never get off the tractor and stand on the land of the connection with it anymore so we need more people with direct connection with the land yeah, so food security and food sovereignty. Like when we came to far when we came to the farm here, we knew very little about farming. But what we did know is if we created a good, healthy, vibrant environment, anything we put into it would be healthy. So it's only like twelve years in, we've created an environment and now we're only starting to really learn about the plants and the food and the bits and pieces like that. Yeah. But you figured out how to harvest them, how to clean them, and how to get them out of the fields. Yeah, yeah. But you call them farm hacks. And if you go online and you Google it, farm hack. There's people all over the world have developed savage machinery from all kinds of stuff. Like there's lads that have bicycles that you stand down for weeding and you just pedal down the field. Like. <laughs> but now with electrification of bikes, you can have an electric motor and a battery and you can take an awful lot of it out. Come back in a few years, I tell you, we'll have some, uh, <laughs> some savage bits of equipment.